Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, if you live along a flood prone river, I've checked all the levels that includes the Patuxet, the Blackstone, the Pawkatuck, the Wood River. All those waters have risen due to the heavy rain, but expected to stay below flood stage. So uh, good news there. Of course, the rain is long gone. The humidity lingers, especially along the coastline. The net result somewhere down there is, is Newport. Uh, you can see the low clouds and the fog, some leftover uh, humidity, some high dew points, but this will actually be improving during the overnight hours. When we take a look at the visibility, note it's essentially from Newport and out towards southeastern Mass, right in here, low clouds and fog just to the west, including westerly. Uh, the visibility is much better. And the reason why there's drier air to our west, when we take a look at the dew point, the high dew points shaded in dark green quite simply means that this is where the higher humidity is located. That's why you have the fog. Off to the west, the dew points are much lower. The air is drier, no fog there. So these lower dew points, this drier air will be working in overnight and it sets the stage for sunshine tomorrow. Upper 60s to lower 70, 72 in Providence. Throw in the humidity and it feels a, a little warmer. So here's what we're watching. Drier air overnight. The heat is on, at least for the next couple of days. Nothing extreme, but I mean, tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 80s and probably closing in on 90 on Wednesday. In fact, the next several days looks pretty good. The next chance for showers not until later in the week, and we're thinking sometime late Thursday night and into a part of Friday. All right, satellite and radar composite, all this gray, that's the low clouds and fog, but that'll be uh, dissipating shortly. Of course, Vermont and upstate New York, unfortunately making national news, still raining, flooding rains, six to nine inches of rain. I mean, we're talking mudslides in Vermont. Uh, roads washed out that includes up uh, through the Hudson Valley of New York as well. So that's where the heavy precipitation is lifted to our north. This whole system compact and significant, but uh, tracking north and east will be pulling away area of low pressure and no behind that. Look at all this real estate where it's clear and dry courtesy of high pressure. And quite simply, this is our weather next several days tomorrow through at least Thursday. We'll get in real close. Watch the time bar and we'll take you through the overnight as that drier air settles in. Here we are tomorrow morning, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. There's no issues with street flooding and downpours. It's just the only problem with the morning commute is, is sun glare as, as you're driving off uh, towards the east. Uh, sunshine in the afternoon. Uh, temperatures mid to upper 80s. Warm. The humidity not quite as high. Looking good tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock and then later tomorrow night. Clear skies and dry. 11 o'clock temperatures are still well into the 70s. So for tomorrow morning, increasing sunshine along with a rapid warm up 11 a.m. It's already 80. Well into the 80s tomorrow afternoon with some sunshine and that includes the beaches as well. And the reason why there's not as much of a sea breeze. Great beach day. Don't forget the sunscreen. Air temperature approaching 80. Water temps in the 70s. Bay forecast with the drier air. Fog is not an issue. West breeze at 10 to 15 knots. Look at the water temperature. It continues to warm up in the lower 70s. So a decent stretch of weather Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'll bring in some scattered showers on Friday. Temperature at 80. Saturday, not bad. Slight chance of some scattered showers on Sunday. Early call, though, on Sunday is that it uh, doesn't look like a washout, but the risk is there. Seasonably warm temperatures this weekend which means generally between about 82 and 83 degrees.